So I've got an observation about your dating patterns. Are you open to hearing about it? I could be completely wrong, by the way. Yeah, go ahead. Well, the first thing I've noticed is that when you meet them, there's this real rush, a lot of chemistry and connection according to you. And you feel like you've known this person for a very long time because you've exchanged a lot of information, shared history, and there hasn't been much boundaries around what you share to this person, even though you've only known them for a handful of dates, yet you come away feeling like you've known this person for a very long time. How does that sound to you so far? Yeah, and like I mentioned, I always get the butterflies when I'm around these people. Like, I always get so excited and I'm like, yeah, that's love, isn't it? So I always follow that instinct inside of me to just keep pursuing them. Well, the butterflies are quite normal in that sort of situation because usually, yes, it can feel like excitement, but it also can be the body's way of expressing terror as the fact that this is too much too soon. But isn't that a normal thing to have the butterflies? Like, doesn't that mean you actually like them and they're a good person for you because it's romantic? A lot of people assume the butterflies are love, but in fact, it's underlying anxiety. And that's what usually keeps you stuck in these situations. If you grew up with a family that didn't give you a lot of consistent love, you're gonna fight for love. And that's why it felt so good with these partners the first time, because you're getting so much and it feels so good. But when they turn the tap off, you fight harder for it. When the behavior of theirs becomes rude, they start communicating less with you, you feel responsible for that. And instead of discerning their behavior and realizing this is who they really are, you fight harder and harder to win them back. This is the start of a trauma bonded cycle. 